Hey guys, Nightcore remix of your favorite song here with another crazy magic tutorial video. You guys love magic tutorial videos and I thought why not help out in your permanent virginity and show you a crazy card trick. This one in particular, if you recognize the title, from a popular coin trick known as coin fly, this is actually gonna be card, card fly. So we're gonna be using playing cards instead of coins. I'm so excited. I can't wait for you to check out this deck of cards in the description below. Use the code PICKCAKE10 to get 10% off this Black Rose Innocence deck. Oh boy, not a, not a shill, but uh, the will to buy the cards. Oh boy. So let's just jump right into the trick, right? Let's just jump right into it. No, no need for one of those transitions or anything. Let's just jump right into the magical trick. Whoa, how did we get here? It's almost like I just lowered the camera an inch. So now you can see my poor cable management. So for this trick, we're gonna be using a deck of regulation playing cards, but we're actually not gonna be using the cards as cards. We're gonna be using the cards for their properties as taking up space because you see cards take up matter, which is gonna be important in this trick. Oh boy, a magic trick and a science lesson. I'm so excited. So for this trick, we're actually gonna be using four cards and we don't need the rest of the deck. So that could go away in my pocket. Ma'am, you could keep an eye on that. <laughs> there are no women. Uh, so again, the uh, cards don't matter here. They could be any sort of cards you want. They don't have to be the uh, aces as a lot of people might use. But what matters is that these cards are actually taking up space because we're gonna be using that space in a few. Because if we take one card here and three cards here, if we actually separate it, it almost looks like I have two cards in each hand, which is impossible because I just had three here and two here. Huh? What's going on? Did one card jump across? Are you hallucinating? What's going on? I'll tell you what, I'm gonna do it again. But this time, I'm gonna give you a little bit of an optical illusion because if I take the hands and cross, it becomes a little bit hard to follow, right? But if I uncross, you see that one card happens to jump to the right hand. So now we have three cards here, what? I'll slow down this last one just to make sure that you don't think that I happen to be cheating or anything. We're gonna take the six of clubs and we're gonna put it inside of my pocket along with the other cards, just leaving us with three cards. You're actually better at this than I thought. If we take these three cards and wave it over the pocket, now you notice that we no longer have just three cards. We have four, including the six of clubs that jumps back to its home. Oh boy. I'm so excited. Uh, I'm not really that excited, to be honest, but it's still kind of a... Oh, hey, hey guys, explanation here. Here's the way you do this very clever version of, of coin fly, but with cards. So you're just gonna be using uh, five cards. That's the secret. That's the, uh, the little bit. You're gonna be using five cards and you're gonna get rid of one in the end in your pocket, which contains the deck. So you're ditching it. That's the, that's the trick. So this is the basic method. I'm gonna show you guys just the basic way to perform it. There's a bunch of variations that I'm actually gonna put on, on Patreon. You see that? Yeah, yeah, you're gonna have to check it out on Patreon if you wanna see those. You, you see what I did there? It's a little bit of a, um, it's a little bit of a trying to, <laughs> oh, I got, I got one. I got, that's, that's what I'm trying to go for here. So uh, I have more advanced versions and variations of this particular trick on Patreon. So you could go and check that out at your will. It's, uh, it's going up at the same time as this video. So just go and click in the link in the description below and you'll be able to just go in right there. Okay, so now that you're back, the first step to this particular trick is that you're gonna get a break underneath the bottom card of the deck. So you could use whatever method you want. You could use a buckle, but you're getting a break because in a moment, you're actually gonna steal that card in the context of a biddle move here. That's, that's what's gonna happen. So you're gonna add this card to the stack of four that you're gonna count off in your hand. Now, the reason I'm using a biddle technique for this particular move is because I want the cards in my right hand so that then I could place them in my right pocket. That's gonna be important to ditch the card later on. And if, for example, by the time we get to the end of the trick, if I put the card inside this pocket and there's no other cards there, then the spectator is gonna to wanna to see if the card's still in my pocket and guess what, it is. But if the deck's there, there's no way they could verify that. You see the level of thinking here. So you're gonna get a break right there and you are going to count off cards from the top of the deck. So I'm counting off one, two, on the second one, 
I'm gonna kiss the deck. I'm gonna give you an exposed view here. I'm gonna kiss the deck and leave that card on top of these two. So one more time, I'm counting two cards into my left hand. As I'm gonna take the third, I'm taking this bottom card into that stack with it, you see? As I count number three, and then finally count number four. So now guess what? You have five cards, son. You th people think you had four cards. You really have five. That's the, the hot take for this particular trick. Again, you're more than welcome to do whatever method you want. You could show four and then uh, take five just like that if you want. But again, you see where this leaves you? You gotta put the deck here and then now it becomes a little bit of an iffy thing. So I like doing the biddle count because it leaves the deck so I could put it in my right hand. So after I count one, I count two, I steal that one. I count three, I count four. I put this deck away in my right pocket. So now I have five cards in my hands. Now, of course, these five cards don't matter, but what does matter is the property. That's a little bit of a powder point. So all I'm doing here is that I'm counting these cards singly onto my left hand, making sure to spread them and leave them in the staggered position. Now, of course, the last one is gonna be a double. So you're gonna have to make sure to keep that squared in your hands as you count these cards into the hands, just like this. So everything's square and copacetic. I'm putting pressure with my thumb so that the card stays exactly where I want it to be. You, you see this? So now when I come in with my right hand and I take this card into my right hand, that's actually two cards. You see the, that's the secret to this particular trick. So you're taking two cards into the right hand, making sure that you're putting sufficient pressure as to not separate the cards prematurely. So now you're gonna be in the situation where you say, look, I'm gonna show you a little bit of an optical illusion. If I hold the cards together, you can clearly see that I have three here and one here. But if I separate the hands, and when you say separate, you're gonna do two actions at once. You're gonna push this card and show it at the same time that you're gonna square up this card with this card over here directly above it. So that's just done by coming in and making sure that the pinky is putting pressure and the forefinger on top is also ensuring that that card is square. So you are doing these actions at the same time when you separate the hands. So it looks like one card just jumped over. So at speed, it should just look like you're showing one card here, but when you separate it, it jumps to the hand. You, you see the little, the little first card jumping there? Man, what a great illusion. You guys are lucky to have a superior intellectual tutor like me to show you things so this is the situation that you're left in now. You have three cards here. The spectator thinks you have two. And you have two cards here. Uh, the spectator thinks you have uh, two. So now what's gonna happen is that in squaring up these cards, I'm gonna obtain a break below these two cards in my right hand. So I'm gonna square everything up, obtain a break below those two cards, and immediately pick them up as one and thumb off this next card just like that. So what this is gonna leave me with now is the same situation as before. The only difference is that instead of taking that one card as I did before, I'm now taking these three cards as two. So at speed, you've just done this where the card jumps, you've shown it back and forth, putting pressure, making sure that this card stays single in the left hand. Now when you score it up, getting a break there briefly, picking up these cards just like this and just regripping and saying, look, I'm gonna do it one more time. Now when I say that, I'm gonna grab these three cards as two, and I say, look, it's actually a little bit harder to follow if I cross my hands. So you're gonna cross your hands just like this in this odd David Copperfield. Uh, I just you know, showed a hottie a floating rose, and now I'm gonna take her to my hotel room and have consensual board games. So you're gonna cross your hands, and as you uncross your hands, you're gonna spread this card in the right hand at the same time that you're gonna square this card up with the left hand. And you're actually going to square it up and put it in this high position here. So you're gonna square it up and you're gonna hold the cards here at the fingertips, almost in a straddle grip. So at speed from this position, you're squaring the cards up, putting in the same position as before, taking three here and two here, crossing your hands, and as you uncross, you're in this position where now you have three cards in the right hand and this card over here. Here you're actually gonna do a move that I first saw done by Paul Harris to show singularity in the cards. So the way Paul Harris did it is like this. He would show three cards and then pinch it so that he could then show two cards cleanly. 
he would pinch it so then he could show two cards cleanly. And uh, you're gonna do that with one hand, which is kind of a tricky bit because you're gonna put pressure with the middle finger and the thumb of the left hand. And notice my forefinger is up here ready to pinch this card. So you're gonna let go with your middle finger and now you have the single card pinched which gives the illusion of singularity. And you're keeping it as square as possible. You're gonna turn these right cards over and put this card in the back of the pile now as you turn these cards into the left hand. So one more time, you have this double in, uh, in the left hand, these three cards in your right hand, you're gonna turn these cards over in your right hand and turn this entire situation into the left hand. But notice, because of the condition of the cards, you're gonna have a little bit of a separation there. This little separation you're gonna take advantage of because you're gonna come in and square the cards up, obtaining a break right there below the double on top of the deck. So that now you could call attention to the fact that this is the five of clubs and this card is gonna go visually. So you're showing this card, you're gonna turn these two cards over as one and place this in your pocket. Now again, remember, because you've placed the deck in your right pocket, it's actually going somewhere in the middle of the deck. So now you're in a position where you can end a trick. You're gonna show that you have three cards to the spectator, regrip and do this little wave action where this last card comes in visually, especially after showing that you've only had three cards. So let's go over that. You're gonna use your left fingertips to draw one card. You're gonna use the same left fingertips to draw the next card. And here, you're more than welcome to do whatever flourish you want to show that there's a single card here. If you want, you could just even turn these cards over just like this, not doing anything fancy. You don't have to do cardistry for everything. You have uh, virgins. So here you're showing these three cards and just regripping into the left hand. So now you could pinch these three cards, which are really four, and kind of wave it over your pocket. Now, as you're waving it, all that's gonna happen is that you're just gonna separate the cards and spread them out. So that now you have a visual appearance of what was three cards is now four, and you could show this top card to be the card that you just put in your pocket visually. Of course, because the deck is in your pocket, you actually are clean because there's no sort of evidence for the spectator to see. The cards have been uh, pretty much lost in the middle of the deck. So that is the basic form of this uh, card fly routine. There are more advanced handlings, again, that's gonna go on Patreon, uh, where you have to drop uh, the hot, hot dollar a month. Oh boy, that's, that's it? What a bargain for some quality exclusive tutorials and videos. Man, if you're not on that, you really are mi uh, missing out. Uh, but I'm gonna drop some more advanced handlings there, which are already up, so you could go and totally check it out. But that's the basic handling. You can add whatever it is that you want, whatever flourishes you want, whatever sort of uh, routine or movement that you want. But ultimately, you have a very nice clean routine where you're able to have cards seemingly jump from one hand to the other with no explanation. Whew, man. I am so excited you guys learned that, man. I, I really can't wait to see your Instagram videos where you um, absolutely butcher it. But uh, you know what? There's going to be some of you that do it justice. So make sure to practice it and then put it on Instagram. That's, that's what I want to see. I want to see it practiced. Oh, boy. Man, that was fun. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for being um, here and watching Piggy videos on a weekly basis. I'm going to go figure out different ways to get... A, a small box, like a, one of those boxes where you put um, knickknacks, and uh, I'm gonna try to fill it up with like some sort of paint, some sort of paint, and see what happens when it dries. Uh, if it dries and it, it just comes off, it's gonna be like crazy, you know, because I could just take the block of paint. But if it just stays wet, then it's gonna be boring. So I'm gonna go do that. You again, when I see you again, when I see you again. See you again.